We're on to the second round of the Khan and Annie Kirby Memorial 5 to 5, which carries with it a prize fund of 160,000 euro. An added element to the evening is the support shown by so many people here wearing their club colours and their county colours and supporting the Dylan Quirk Foundation. We had brilliant racing last weekend and we're looking forward to more of the same this evening in front of a very fine crowd on a lovely spring evening. From the inside, sing along Emer, Toolmaker Stan, Sober Glory, Le Conquistador, Gay Time Hugo, Music Glide Away. Three automatically will qualify, fairly level break up front, sing along Emer going along quite nicely on the inside. Spot of bother and Gay Time Hugo takes up the running to move into second, just ahead of Toolmaker Stan. Heading towards the penultimate turn in the opening heat of the second round of the Kirby. And with the lead up front, it's trap one, sing along Emer, five, gate time, Hugo is in second. Good battle on for the third qualification spot, perhaps headed by three. It's one, five, three. Time is 28.08. From the inside, blast off Mac, Hovix, Tommy, Clonbrine, Treaty, Ballymac, Pete, Our Mystery, Verratti. Good headway made early on by trap two. That's uh, Hovix, Tommy, that has the advantage at the first turn. One is blast off Mac in second. Clonbrine Treaty is gaining considerable ground. It's two, three and one as they go towards the second bend from the finish. Verratti has ground to make up. At the head of the affairs, it's two. Hovix Tommy, if only just hitting the final turn. Two from three and one, looking like qualifiers. Two, three, one. The time is 28, 27. One Beepers Lariat, two Scaglietti, three Belinda's Finn, four is Knock by Curra, five Stories Law, six Sesame Street. And they're away from traps, four leads, possibly Knock by Curra, but contenders on the inside, including uh, trap one, which is Beepers Lariat. It's number one that has the advantage of the second bend, which is Beepers Lariat. Scaglietti is coming back, looking to be on terms, going towards the third bend. One goes on by Lint from two. It's Belinda's Finn that's back in third, heading towards the home stretch here, and it's one, two, three as they cross the line. Winning time is 28.53. Green flag raise. The runners from the inside, Jay Swallow, Free Jojo, Burgess Cannon, Clona Duke, Run Faster, Burge Khalifa. On their way, all eyes are on for Clona Duke, away reasonably okay, and moves on comfortably at this point. Well down the far stretch now, and it's Clona Duke to the good by six or eight lengths from five, run faster. One is Jay Swallow. Three of these will qualify for the quarterfinals next weekend. The field is headed comfortably by Clona Duke, pulling away from them towards the line. And the time, 27.95. The hair is on its move. Wild Sports Gift, as I say, Ballymac Bronze. Glengarry spins Teddy, Ballymac, John Joe. And they're racing and it's won a lively away. That's Wild Sports Gift from four and five. Glengarry and Bins Teddy. They're off the second bend and it's Wild Sports Gift that leads for Paul Hennessy. Four Glengarry is in second. Bins Teddy right in the reckoning as well as they go towards the closing couple of turns. It's one Bile Sports Gift with the advantage. Five of the outside, Bins Teddy heading towards the line. Five, one, six. The time is 28.10. One Cushy Island, two Blast Off Salah, three Milridge Levi, Teresa's Mendoza, four, five, by a man, six, Sagna in Grande. We're racing, it's five that sets the pace, which is man from Robbie Gleason's uh, kennels. So the opening couple of turns, Cushy Island is looking to make some headway, as is trap three, which is Milridge Levi. But the leader has a decent advantage heading towards the second bend from the finish, which is quite a man. Four is closing, Teresa's Mendoza heading towards the stand side at Limerick, but they ain't going to catch. Trap five heading towards the line, it's five, four, two as qualifiers. Time is 28.18. Three, Ballymac Shawnee. Four, Romeo Hanzo. Five, Bogger Lucky. Six, Papa Dioro. Level break, possibly for Romeo Hanzo with the advantage. Six on the outside is Papa Dioro. Off the second turn, it's four, Romeo Hanzo with the advantage. Bogger Lucky is next on the outside. Ballymac Shawnee. And uh, Papa Dioro in contention as well. Just three of these will qualify for the 
quarterfinals next weekend. Romeo Hanzo is the one with the clear advantage heading towards the finishing line. 4 3 5 6. Good one. 28 07. Burgess Bulger, Mr. Incredible, Good Maestro, Kyle Tone, Jerry, Road Exile, Raiho Beach. The final heat is underway. 1 3 and 5 are the early contenders. One is Burgess Bulger has the lead from five. Road Exile, it's one from five. Blue Jack, Mr. Incredible, is in third, ahead of 6-4. Three of them will qualify. It's Burgess Bulger that is setting the pace. Now Road Exile looking to come back in turns, but reopening a two-length advantage is Burgess Bulger well down the home stretch. Here's the line. It's 1-2 with finishing strongly. Six and five in contention as well. 28-23 is the time. Well, we've had a very eventful night here with the second round heats of the Khan and Annie Kirby. And so we're down to the quarterfinal stage. Yes, just 24 remain in the hunt to win this great event, which started 10 years ago. We're looking forward already immensely to the action at Limerick next Saturday night, where once again, the opening race is off at 740